So in order to start creative coding, you first need the software to creative code with. We are going to use something called processing. So I'm going to show you how to install processing on your computer. It's a little bit different than most uh, software for installations. Now, if you're on a public computer, like at the library, maybe go up to the librarian and say, hey, I want to install this. Can you help me? It's for creative coding and it's awesome. Or they might already have processing on the system, which means go ahead and skip to the next one. Um, so yeah. If you go to processing.org, which has the link is inside of this, pre, uh, it, blah, the link is inside of this video description, you see this thing that says download processing. Click on that and it will bring us to a page. There's window versions, Linux versions, and Mac versions. I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version because I am on Windows. Brings you to this thing asking about donations. It's 100% free. You don't have to donate, but if you want to, you can. And um, if you start making lots of money with your projects, give them a little something. So it's done downloading, as you can see right here. So I'm going to click to open that. If you don't have a little thing indicating it down there, you can go to a folder and just go to your downloads folder to find it. So here I have processing 3.5.4. Actually, let me go into downloads so we can actually see it. There we go, downloads, processing, 3.5.4, Windows 64. But it's in a zip file, so what I need to do is unzip it. So make sure you're on your downloads. Make sure it's, you see that zip file? Let's go ahead and right click and select extract all. It's gonna give us a, um, an actual place on the computer, which is the same downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and check mark. Just make sure show extracted files when complete is check marked. And I'm gonna hit extract. So it's gonna do this for a little bit, and this takes a second, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Fast forward to this. Okay, it has finished extracting and it popped open this folder. As you can see, there's that stuff. And here's the new folder it popped open with processing 3.5.4. But now what I need to do is actually save this folder somewhere permanent, not in the downloads where it gets uh, deleted every and emptied out every now and then. So I'm gonna go ahead to, let's say my C drive, oh, operating system C. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder by right clicking and new folder. And I'm just going to call this interactive software. That looks good. Um, I already have a thing named that, so I replaced it. Interactive software. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to that. Uh, whoops. Let me minimize that. I'm going to go back to that downloads folder. Double click to go in there. And I'm going to select this processing 3.5.4 folder and just go ahead and move it into there. Now if the number on yours is different than 3.5.4 that's okay it's just a newer version than what I used and this is the install. It's gonna a few more steps before we're done. Let's go ahead and X out of that. Alright so I'm gonna go into processing 3.5.4 and we'll see there's these folders but right here this processing this is the actual program. Now, I want to have a link to this on my desktop, so I can double click this to open it. So I'm going to go ahead to this processing where we get that little P3 symbol. I will right click on it, and I will go down to create shortcut. Boom. So it created this shortcut and uh, processing shortcut, and I can just click and drag that shortcut onto my desktop, and there we go. We have the processing shortcut on the desktop. I have an interactive software folder. So I'm going to close this out and I can just double click on my processing shortcut and we might get this weird looking Windows protected is protecting your PC. Processing is a safe software. It's very safe and it's very good. It says don't run here, but you can click this more info right here and hit run anyway and processing will start to run. You'll probably get one more uh, pop up that says allow actual um, allow this to run on different networks. I'm not getting it because I've installed this before, but you can just allow it on all networks. And here we go. Processing is up and running. If I X this out and I go ahead and hit this now, we're not going to get that warning anymore. That was just a one time warning. So this is how you install processing. Solid.